Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy, and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings recipes and fresh ingredients right to your doorstep. You can whip up a meal in about 30 minutes. So HelloFresh is all about working for you. You can change your delivery dates, your food preferences. You can even skip a week. And there is something for everyone, including family-friendly recipes, low-calorie dishes, and vegetarian options as well. So the packaging HelloFresh uses is almost entirely recyclable or has been made from recycled content. So giving back to the community is really important to HelloFresh and in 2019 they donated over 2.5 million meals to charity and are stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. So this month my children really enjoyed the chicken sausage cavatappi bolognese and I think a big part of that was because they were involved in the whole making process, cutting up the vegetables and putting the meal together. I find when I get my kids involved they enjoy the meal all the more. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh out for yourself, use my code EMMYMADE80 to receive a total of $80 off, including free shipping with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I'm gonna to be making something that was requested by lovely Emily over on Twitter at the handle Gingersnap, and she requested Krilled Geese, which is a lovely spoonerism. Isn't that a great word, spoonerism? My eight-year-old taught me that. I love learning things from my children. A spoonerism is when you transpose the first letter of two different words, so grilled cheese becomes grilled geese. And that's what I'm gonna be making, grilled cheese. So instead of bread on the outside, I'm gonna have cheese, and then I'm gonna have the toast in the middle as the cheese. So it's gonna be a grilled geese. <laughs> Now, Emily sent me a photo of this. I Googled it and I wasn't really able to find anything about it, but I said, that sounds brilliant. And when I made my Korean street food grilled cheese video, so many of you chimed in about different types of cheeses that grill well. Thank you so much. I learned that there's something called grilling cheese, which I was able to find. And I learned about bread cheese, which is translated from the Finnish yusalepa, which is a type of flat cheese, often looks like a piece of pizza dough that is grilled and often eaten on bread, but it too does not melt at high temperatures. So other examples of this type of high temperature grilling cheese would be paneer, halloumi, and yustalepa. All of these cheeses don't have very much water in them. So when you heat them, they don't just pool and melt all over the place and drip down into your grill. <laughs> They are actually very grillable, they sear, they look beautiful, and they tend to be squeaky when you bite them. Isn't that delightful when you're eating your food? They go squeak, squeak, squeak. Super fun. So I'm gonna be trying two different versions of the grilled geese. I'm gonna be using some paneer, which is an Indian style cheese, and this. This is Roget's Bonfire Grilling Cheese. This is a product from Germany. So let's go make some grilled geese. Grilled, yeah, grilled geese. <laughs> this is a block of paneer. This is of course used in palak paneer, one of my husband's favorite dishes. A beautiful dish of spinach and cheese. Just cut it right down the middle. If I can, maybe I'll go around the perimeter. Just go there we go. It seems to have a grain. It didn't want to cut well on the other side, so we'll cut it on this side instead. I've got some sandwich bread that is exactly the same size as my cheese. Perfect. We'll put that right in the middle. <laughs> There's our grilled cheese so far. So this comes in little packages like this. It almost looks like a brie. It feels kind of soft. Very mild scent. Okay. Very cute. I'm going to make the bread round. Have you seen that Korean video where they make round dumpling wrappers by hand and they cut it? It's absolutely stunning and outstanding. The amount of discipline and skill involved to make hundreds if not thousands of dumpling wrappers all perfectly round. Just, it's, I'll put the link down below. Look, that looks so great. Lightly oil this. Wipe most of that oil off. Just like if I were to make some pancakes. 
and place our cheese on. That sounds great. Do the round one here. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. So, so funny. I'm gonna actually toast the bread a little. And let's take a little peek on the cheese. Ooh, that's looking lovely. Now I'm gonna slide that on here. And I'm gonna flip the paneer one over. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, let's, oh, here we go. Yes, this one's getting kind of oozy inside. Oh yes. Ooh, it's getting crusty. Oh, this looks good. So I wanna make sure the cheese is all the way warmed through. We'll make this golden. Wow, that's really puffing up. Look, look at how it puffs up. How cool is that? It just goes beautiful. Okay. All right, my lovelies, let's go ahead and finally eat our krill geese. Look, it's so stinking cute. It looks like an English muffin. I wanna cut it open and see what it's like. Oh my gosh, here we go. Look at that. Oozy, goozy. Itadakimasu. And as you can imagine, it's very cheesy. <laughs> I'm gonna take another bite. Hmm, the cheese is very smooth and slightly stretchy, not at all squeaky. But I like when you bite into it because we've grilled it, we have a little bit of a skin there and we bite into it and there's this kind of suppleness to the cheese. It's not stretchy at all. I was kind of expecting it to be kind of mozzarella stretchy. It's not. It's just pleasantly, slightly chewy, but very smooth. Look at that, smooth, salty. Definitely need something else to go with this, maybe a cracker, and warm, and very, very cheesy, very mild flavored cheese. A little bit reminiscent of a, like a brie, and we've got this nice caramelization on the outside. I don't taste the bread at all, just cheese. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, let's try the paneer version. Let's cut this one in half. Ooh, this has a nice crust on it. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. That too has very little bread in there. Hmm. I don't think I've ever had paneer plain before, but it's a very mild, not very salty, slightly sweet cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm. The cheese is relatively dry, has a little bit of squeak to it, a little bit of a bounce. Not as squeaky and bouncy, say, as halloumi, which was very squeaky. Not at all salty, which I always associate with cheese. Mm -hmm. Has a nice fresh milk flavor to it. And in fact, makes me realize that the sweetness is actually coming from the bread. Mm hmm the added sugar in the bread. You'd be surprised how much sugar is in bread. This one I think really begs for a little smear of mustard. Something about cheese, bread, and mustard is such a great combination. Mm-hmm, mm. That was a big squeak. <laughs> so there you have it, my lovelies. Two different versions of grilled geese. Delightful, fun. If you are a cheese lover, I think you'll absolutely love it. But. In my opinion, I think it does need a little extra starch because there's a lot of cheese here, but super fun, easy. And in fact, there are cheeses that are grillable that can withstand high temperatures. I think it's a novel way to approach cheese as well. Get a little caramelization and it kind of changes your whole idea of cheese and what you could do with it. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Use my code EMMYMADE80 to receive $80 off, including free shipping with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and to get more information. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. 
Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.